Hey everybody, Rob from Karma Comic Chameleon coming at you with another malicious compliance story. Army Sergeant humiliates me in front of our platoon, let me destroy his chance of being promoted. Let's jump right in. Hit that subscribe button for more daily Reddit stories. Hey guys, this story comes from last year while I was enlisted in the California Army National Guard. During my time in the National Guard, I was assigned to the Recruit Sustainment Program. In this program, new recruits are prepared for basic combat training. At the time, I was a private first class and I reported to an NCO who I will refer to as Staff Sergeant G as his assistant squad leader. Staff Sergeant G was a toxic soldier who applied to officer candidate school but was rejected. To make up for the loss, he tried asserting his dominance in other ways. For example, during combatives, Army MMA, he ordered new recruits with two hours of training to fight him. This is the equivalent of asking a white belt to fight against a black belt. Furthermore, he displayed blatant favoritism by assigning the worst jobs, such as Firewatch, where you needed to stay up during the night cleaning the barracks, to those he did not like. While our relationship wasn't great, we got along decently for the most part. However, that began to change when I received a four-year national scholarship from ROTC, another officer training program. Besides covering the tuition of going to college, the scholarship also guaranteed that you would commission as an officer when you graduate college, meaning I would soon outrank him. In order to transfer out of the National Guard and into ROTC, I had to get a form signed by my unit commander, which I submitted to Staff Sergeant G, who was then expected to pass it up the chain of command. However, the first sign of our relationship fraying was his forgetfulness to pass the form up. Every time I asked for an update, Staff Sergeant G gave me the runaround, claiming that the form slipped his mind and promised to pass it on in a few hours. After a month, I decided enough was enough and asked a third person to help me with the paperwork. She went above and beyond and got my paperwork to the commander within a week. Staff Sergeant G was not happy that I flouted his authority causing our relationship to take a significant turn for the worse. He began to nitpick at my uniform, looking for any slight mistakes that he could punish me for. One day, it was that I missed a small patch of facial hair while shaving. In the army, we are expected to be clean shaven, while another time, it was my name tape, which slightly ajar after a day of field training. Staff Sergeant G brought down the hammer on me, and I would be yelled at in front of the squad of recruits we were training. For every infraction, I did 100 push-ups. I took these punishments in stride, as not only was Staff Sergeant G technically correct, but also, arguing with a superior in front of a bunch of new recruits would send the wrong message to a bunch of future soldiers. As I continued to avoid confrontation, Staff Sergeant G continued to grow bolder. Throughout the following months, he ramped up his nitpicking. Eventually, he called me out in front of a platoon, four squads of recruits. Hey OP, Staff Sergeant G inquired, what is your ASVAB score? The ASVAB is a test you take when entering the military. The percentile you score in becomes your actual score, so if you placed in the 84th percentile, you have an 84 on the test. Not sure where he was going, I responded, Staff Sergeant G, I got a 99% on the ASVAB. The perfect score. He stifled a laugh and rhetorically asked me, with such a high ASVAB score, why aren't you going to West Point? the Army's prestigious service academy, knowing full well I turned down a letter of assurance from West Point. Stunned by such a question, I stood there quietly. He exploited my shock and turned to the platoon and said, even a smartass like OP can't get far in the Army on his brains alone. As he broke out laughing away, I was livid. I swore I would get revenge against Staff Sergeant G for humiliating me in front of the platoon, but I knew I couldn't openly defy him. I waited for a chance to get back at him, a chance which he kindly gave me at the end of the day. During the day, we had been conducting training on military operations in urban terrain using paintballs. We had a mock village in which we had been fighting in all day. Obviously, the village had been covered in paint as untrained recruits mag dump paintballs at each other. The people responsible for the maintenance of the facility were fine with this as long as we cleaned it up ourselves. As per company, company equals four platoons of four squads, policy stated, we could not go home from training until we had cleaned up all the equipment and locations we had used, which included the mock village. 
Once training completed, Sergeant First Class M, Staff Sergeant G's boss, assigned our squad the task of cleaning the village. However, Staff Sergeant G decided he had better things to do than to supervise cleanup and ordered me to take over. However, we had no cleaning supplies and went to Staff Sergeant G to raise my concerns. Seeing me approach, Staff Sergeant G turned to me and yelled, OP, what part of clean the village did you not understand? In front of the entire squad. Sergeant, I explained, we can't clean as... Can't do what, he interrupted. You want to be an officer, so go out and lead. I won't be there to hold your hand in combat. I can't solve all your problems. Make do with what you have and improvise. Turning to his friend, Staff Sergeant G stated, Can you believe this guy wants to be an officer? Cue malicious compliance. Looking out into the field and seeing cut grass, I got an idea. Yes, Sergeant, I said and walked back to our squad. When I got to them, I stated, We don't have any cleaning supplies, so we are going to improvise. You see the piles of cut grass out on the field? Go grab them and use them as brushes. My squad looked in shock and awe. I gleefully responded, Sergeant's orders, we are to make do with what we have. Two hours later, we were still scrubbing paint off the walls. Meanwhile, every other squad in the company had finished their assigned tasks and were waiting for us to finish our work so they could go home. Sergeant First Class M was getting annoyed. He correctly surmised that there was no reason why we should be taking so long to finish a simple task and decided to investigate. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw him approaching and turned to greet him. What in the actual f*** are you doing, Private? Sergeant First Class M screamed. Why are you trying to scrape paint off with grass? Why the hell are you not using your brushes? Sergeant, I responded, trying not to break out laughing. I asked Staff Sergeant G for supplies, but was ordered to make do with what we have. Sergeant First Class M couldn't believe what he was hearing. He went off to the recruits in our squad to independently verify my claim. When four different recruits told the same story, he beckoned me over and called Staff Sergeant G. Staff Sergeant G? Sergeant First Class M asked in his calm and controlled firm voice. I heard some mumbling, which I assume was Staff Sergeant G greeting, followed by the roar of, Why the f*** did you not give your squad cleaning supplies? From Sergeant First Class M. I was on the brink of dying of laughter, while Sergeant First Class M yelled at Staff Sergeant G over his incompetence while demanding he bring over the supplies. All Staff Sergeant G could muster between each roar was a quick, Yes, Sergeant! After Sergeant First Class M finished off his tirade, he looked at me and said, Carry on, Private, as he walked away. As soon as he turned the corner, I burst out laughing. Five minutes later, Staff Sergeant G drove up with the cleaning supplies. Sweating, he distributed the cleaning supplies, worried that the Sergeant First Class would find him in person and tear into him again. Half an hour later, we were back with the rest of the company getting dismissed. However, the day did not end there for Staff Sergeant G. Through the grapevine of a friendly NCO, I found out that Staff Sergeant G had gotten in a lot of trouble with the company's leadership over this stunt. Not only had the first sergeant, Sergeant First Class M's boss, privately tore into him, but he also made sure the incident showed up in Staff Sergeant G's evaluation report, which will make it far harder for him to get promoted. As far as I know, Staff Sergeant G is still in the same position he was in last year while I have started my officer training. It sure feels good knowing that Staff Sergeant G got what he deserved. OP explained a little further why he chose which school he did. It says, For those asking why I chose not to go to USMA, I got into a school that is more academically prestigious than West Point. As the school offered me a scholarship in conjunction with ROTC, I will graduate debt-free. To me, this negated USMA's major advantage over its peers. Furthermore, I have the freedom to do what I want with my summer. For example, this summer, I've been in India studying Hindi through an ROTC program called Project Go. I would never have had the opportunity to do this in West Point. In the end, I will be a second lieutenant regardless of whether I go to USMA or commission through ROTC, so given ROTC's clear advantages, I opted for ROTC. While what the staff sergeant was doing to OP really wasn't acceptable, I have huge respect for OP for listening and doing what he was told and not showing any kind of retaliation in front of the new recruits. That is a very, very big thing because you don't want those new recruits to see a breach in protocol. It's all part of the discipline you learn in military service. 
I want to thank OP for posting this story to the Malicious Compliance subreddit. You can visit OP at the links in the description below. Please go there on Reddit and give them an upvote. Once again, this is Rob from Karma Comic Chameleon saying thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I ask you to hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one.